Calamary salutations everyone, Squid here bringing you week 7 of UPBAN and I actually have to go a little bit quieter than usual because uh, people are already asleep in my house so plan for today is to just win with the Zolf that's basically it um, and I'm gonna lead with uh, Kiram because Kiram should deal a chunk to everything that's in the field and the only, basically the only thing that I really wouldn't like to see is the Pangoro but oh well even chipping the Pangoro is not that bad um, we're playing the, the Australian Arcanines and Mr. Jetman good luck have fun to him and that makes this the Arcanine duel guys so Whoever wins gets to keep the mascot. Ah, I really didn't want this lead. This close combat kill. Oh, close combat definitely kills. Oh my god. Okay, I have to do this then. And that allows me to kind of sort out what uh, set this is. Um, okay. So uh, that should be like a berry set, I think. Not quite sure, but Pengor is gonna be a pain to deal with. Okay, we paralyzed the Toxapex, which is not the greatest thing in the world but at least um, okay I think I can go into Kiram once again because I don't want uh, Kiram being poisoned if he goes for toxic spikes and now we can go for flash cannon I feel like Cold isn't going to do much, but of course he gets the burn. It's not that bad though. Um, let's see, Kyurem versus Toxapex. Yeah, Fizz Dry melts it, so I'm just gonna go Flash Cannon. He could go Blacephalon, I don't think he would. Okay, he stayed in, why? Okay, he paralyzed, nice one. I mean, I have Freeze Dry. Uh, can do earth power for a middle ground play maybe yeah okay pretty good damage okay he knocks off the the item uh, I can just go for flash cannon now Possibly catch something on the switching. I don't know if he would save this though. But uh, Toxapex is not the worst thing in the world to survive. I think I have a pretty good way to break through it. 
so I'm not that worried. Okay. Um. Now. Uh, what do we do? Yeah, I don't think he has a way to touch the heat ring. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. The uh, best way is probably... Knock off. Okay. That gets rid of my lefties. So, what do I want to do now? Actually... Uh, maybe just... Magma Storm. Yeah, Magma Storm seems like a play, because even if he goes into something okay, uh, he stays in. Not quite sure if that was the play, but oh well. Okay, we hit. Nice. So that means that we're gonna get rid of the Triagonal, eventually. Because he's trapped in. Okay, so... Getting rid of this thing is super nice. Super nice. He can't do anything to us. Because I'm, I've used Cryognol before and I remember quite specifically that I couldn't touch steel types at all. So. Boom. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cryognol is on, which is amazing. Uh, but now I kind of fear him going into Salamence or Pangoro. How much does Pangoro do to... I'm actually faster than Adamant. I think I'm just gonna stay in and flash cannon. Oh my god, we live that. Oh my god. So either he's jolly, either he's jolly or scarf. Um, maybe jolly. Okay, um, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Oh, yeah, I should have saved this, actually. Uh, so... Hmm. Uh, I think I can do this and just Volt Switch because he didn't bring Hip Out on. Yeah, I'm pressure instead of static. I'm dump. Uh... Okay, of course he withdrew. Because why wouldn't he? And he goes into clef. Not sure what kind of cliff this is, though. I think I'm gonna rain dance and then we just go into Zapdos because Zapdos should be able to break this. We're gonna rain dance. Dance is also pretty nice here because it um, lowers the power of fire moves from Blacephalon, and because I'm I dumbly let uh, Heatran go down, he can now go for uh, fire moves at will. Stealth Rock. Okay. Um, 
It's kind of annoying, though, not gonna lie. But... But I still have some switch-ins. So what's he gonna do? Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy to heal the Toxapex? What? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna fire... Just gonna fire Hurricanes now. Or Thunders. Um, I feel like I prefer Hurricane. Uh, it's the same base power, right? I prefer um, Paralyzing or Confusing. Confusing. Yeah, Confusing is the way. Okay. This Hurricane is gonna deal massive damage to the cliff. Okay, more than half. That's what we want. Toxic. Not bothered by the Toxic at all. Zapdos is offensive, so it's just gonna do what it has to do. Now, uh, Stealth Rock, Aromatherapy, Toxic. Uh, I'm assuming Moonblast as the last move he has. Um Yeah, it should be Moonblast. Okay, he saved the Clefable and sacked the Bangoro. What? Are you mad? I don't think sacking the Pangaro was the way, but okay. Hmm. Interesting play there. Now, um... I want to see... Because I, I feel like he's going Blacephalon now. How much does Blacephalon do to Zapdos? Uh, in the rain. So, 59% I should still live. I should still live this turn. I don't live the next one, though. That's a bummer. Salamence. Okay. I'm happily going to chip down this Salamence. Did I bring... I think I didn't bring... a priority though, because I, I knew that I wanted to bring Skantank at the one point, but I ended up not making do on it. And Spec Zapdos just demolishes Salamence, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Zapdos. Chill, bro. Chill. <laughs> okay, uh, I think now he goes uh, Blacephalon. And just goes into fire, locks himself into fire move. Uh, how well does the Liquid Tank take that? Uh, it should take it pretty well, I think. I think Zapdos could still be useful, in one way or another, like a sack or something like that. Flamethrower... I feel like that's Specs, but I'm not sure. What can he, what can he set up with now? Um, Clefable could still be problematic, but... Hmm. No, I don't want to Dynamax. Um, I 
I'm gonna wish. Lucephalon is too scary. Lots of packs. Okay. I don't think Toxapex is gonna do much, so I'm just gonna protect. He's gonna knock off, for sure. But as long as I can get my HP back with the Leaky Tongue, uh, things should be under control. Okay. So then what I'm gonna do is just go into Kiram, I feel like. Or, maybe I just go into this. No, I go into Kyurem. Then I... Earth power. Yeah, I go into Kyurem. Can we survive? Maybe we can not. Yeah, we don't. Bummer. Okay. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. Um, the mon that toxicked me was the... Um, was the Clefable. So I think I can just do this. Actually, I think I don't need to nasty plot. I think a Zelf should be able to just deal with the with the um, Toxapex as it is. Okay. Um, Sai Shock is doing fifty four point seven percent. Yeah. I think I can just do this. He saves it. Wow, that actually surprised me. Okay, he goes into the Clefable. We demolish the Clefable, that's nice. So, how do we do this now? Oh, he actually brought out Toxapex. Wow. Um, then I think I just... Psyshock. Um, yeah, I just Psyshock, because it should be a two-hit KO on it. Yeah, pretty much. He knocks off. Okay. Okay. Uh, we just side shock once again. Okay. Good. Good. That's great. Uh, so now what we're doing is we're going we're sacking Zapdos uh, are we actually Zapdos uh, Resecking Zapdos is no, actually no. We're gonna We're gonna water pulse. Let's see if he's scarf. No, he's not scarf, he's Pex. Okay. Oh he flame charges. Ah uh, fudge. Um I 
Quatsch. I think um, Leaky Tank should be still be able to deal with it then. Flame charge part though. <sighs> yeah, this is actually the set that I practice against. Well, let's just hope that Licky Dunk can clean it off. Ooh, it might not. Oh. Yes. But he he's lowering his special attack, so that's nice. Oh god. Oh I'm not gonna lie. This was scary. <laughs> this was scary at the end. <laughs> but we managed to persist. 3-0 win versus the, the Australian Arcanines and Jetman. GG's to you man. And yeah, I think this was a pretty clear win. Uh, we shook off the strange thing that happened last week and we move now to 5-2 and two guys so we're doing pretty great in this league uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next one Squid Jetting out